Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Happy Halloween, 31st of October. Um, today, another unboxing video. Uh, I think eventually we'll reach the end of the unboxing videos, but I've got some stuff to show you um, that arrived recently. Uh, I'm just going to pull it out of the box. I'm not going to demo it um, because they're keyboards and they're kind of hard to demo, aren't they? It's not like our feel vision You won't get to enjoy their mechanical wonderfulness. But I'll show you them and I'll tell you about them. So um, I usually buy mechanical keyboards from WASD Keyboards in California. And I need to get two keyboards recently. I got a, I got a small 10 keyless one and I got a full size 104 key one. And uh, honestly, they were just so expensive and I'm poor. So I, uh, I didn't buy them off WASD keyboards, which is what I prefer to do. I've, I've always got good keyboards from them. They're expensive, but they're excellent. Um, anyway, I went uh, shopping around, and I found these um, Philco keyboards. Now, Philco is a Japanese brand, and these literally shipped in from Japan. In fact, on the back here, um, you, you can see all of the specs are actually given in Japanese. So uh, And made in Taiwan. There you go. So it's a Japanese uh, brand. Uh, they're on the web at diatech.co.jp. And they're obviously doing their manufacturing in Taiwan, which is interesting to know. So I've got a, um, a full-size uh, Majest Touch 2SS edition from Philco. This is a mechanical keyboard with uh, Cherry MX Speed Silver switches, which are super, super fast. If you've never used them, when you get them, using them will be like having a hair trigger. It's really... Actually, one thing that I found even when I started using these uh, is you just brush a key with your finger and you'd accidentally randomly like put a J or something in your in your file because you just touch the, it's so easy to press the buttons that you just accidentally do it until you get used to the keyboard and then you don't do that anymore. Um, so don't worry about that. But it does happen as you're getting used to it. You uh, <coughs> you press a few keys wrong. But the silver switches, they're great. I, I got used to them. I love them and I'm never going to do anything else. And these keyboards from Philco, I got them on the Amazon Australia website, but they imported from Japan. Um, and I think they were low on stock. I'm not sure if it's possible really to get any more of these. I suspect they're going to be really good keyboards, but I haven't used the Philco ones before. I have used the Cherry MX Silver switches before, and that's what both of these have. Now, as I mentioned, this is the full-size 104-key QWERTY keyboard, and this is what they call the 10-key less um, QWERTY keyboard. Uh, both of them have the same switches. Uh, they're both in the uh, Majest Touch 2SS uh, series. Um, I forget how many keys. I think maybe 87 keys on the 10-key less uh, keyboard. Um, so... Uh, two keyboards. We'll pop them over on the bench and pop them out of the box and see what, what they ship with. So here we are on the bench. Got a bit of glare there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's open them up. Can you hear the wind howling outside? It's really windy here in uh, the Blue Mountains this evening. Oh, well, that's a nice touch, isn't it? They've given me a... Um... Let's see if I can get that under there. Go under. Oh, no, it doesn't want to go under. All right, well... You can't see that as perhaps as well as perhaps I might like. So here's the uh, 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 the manual in Japanese and English. There we go. Uh, tells you about use of keyboard for long periods, handling a keyboard, and don't disassemble. Works with various operating systems. So I don't think we really need a manual for our um, for our keyboard. Do we? it looks like it's got some media keys? You usually press the function button to enable those. Um, okay, good stuff. Now it came with a little uh, USB to PS2 uh, adapter. Um, that's good. I'll just put that in the in the adapter box. I won't be needing it. Um, oh, this is good. It's well packaged. They've got a um, they've got a keyboard uh, cover over it, so that's good. To keep the keys protected. I thought it was pretty cool how they had different coloured keys. Um, fair enough. And looks like we can get him out of there. So there he is. That's the um, that's the, the keyboard in all its glory. Uh, it's got the Windows logo on the Windows key. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Cool. And uh, up the top, it just comes out that way. There's no options for routing the cable. Um, and you've got a little um, feet, so that's good. Uh, some uh, model numbers and such on the back. So there we go. That's our first keyboard. That's the uh, full... Oh, that, no, no, that was the 10 keyless, obviously. Sorry, I forgot to point that out. But as you can see, on the side of this keyboard, there's no number pad. It's just not there. And that's so that I can fit it into my um, tray here. You see, I've got the, um, I've got the keyboard in here. Uh, that keyboard's going to go there, so that's the idea behind that. And this keyboard was like $10 and it's a piece of junk, so I'm going to uh, get rid of it. Um, and, oh look, so um, the only other thing that was in the box was some uh, some spare um, keys. So if you want to, isn't that a nice touch? Because a lot of people do um, change the, uh, uh, the, the caps lock key to... Um, uh, control, and then you can put the control key as caps lock. What a nice touch. 
Very cool. And I'm not quite sure what the Windows key uh, alternative is here. Oh, I see. Yeah, it looks like you can... There, okay, fair enough. So it looks like you can, there's options for this as well. I'm not sure how you program this thing. Um, I probably won't be programming it. Um, I suspect it's going to work for me out of the box. Anyway, that's a nice touch. They gave us the Philco uh, keycap remover and uh, a couple of spare keys. Well done. Well done. Very happy about that. So let's pop out the second one. Let's have a look at that. This is a bit bigger. It's fit on the bench. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I suppose we might have a quick look on the back. It's basically the same as the other one. It's just this is the full key, the full size keyboard. So uh, pop in open. Be careful not to cut your fingers when you open the box. Okay. And here is another manual. So, uh, yeah, and that was English on the second page. And there we go. It tells you about the uh, function keys. Looks pretty good. And again with the uh, the keyboard protector. Oh no, it's come loose and it's damaged. Isn't that terrible? Dear me, wasn't expecting that. Didn't you see that on the corner here? Look, it's got the cover, but the cover's come up and then there's damage. The keys have popped out. Hopefully they're not uh, completely shot. Look at that. No, you don't want that. That's not good at all. What's going on there? Hopefully by pushing back in, it'll just pop off. Oh, that's very disappointing, isn't it? You don't want your keys to be all smashed when you uh, go to get take it out of the box. It's unfortunate. I was expecting to have no problems like that. That's not cool. Anyway, oh, look at this one. That's, that's just dead set falling off. Oh, no. That's terrible. I'm going to give all of them a good press, and hopefully uh, there's no harm done. So, uh, okay, get this guy out. Now, I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to press all the keys in, because uh, I don't I don't want to have any sorts of problems with this thing. The keys feel pretty good, pretty good. test later, plug it in, see that it all works. So let's have a look at what, what else was in the box, huh? I'm expecting some keys and a, and a thing for popping the keys out. Oh, no. Oh, yep. Now, I've seen these before, um, and I really don't understand them. Have you seen these? If you know what these are, get in the comments and let me know, because I think you put them under the key, and maybe it disables the key. I'm not 100% sure what these little things do. Uh, I think it might be to disable the key so you can't press it anymore. Um, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Now there's there's our Philco spare keys and the Philco thing, so I'll just put that all in the drawer. Um, yeah, okay. Well, um, we can't say it went perfectly, can we? Because we had the damaged keys when we popped the um, the keyboard open, so that was a little bit disappointing. Um, but um, the the keys seem to be wor working. I haven't plugged it in. Um, they feel pretty good. So uh, basically, what I expected. Um, yeah, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next one.